Americans. And the American Civil Liberties Union of Idaho is spending a busy weekend in Nampa knocking on doors, reminding people to get out and vote. Jennifer Ong explains how in tonight's big story. Members of ACLU of Idaho are going door to door almost every day, making stops in Meridian, Nampa and Boise. And with so many changes to this election, their goal is to explain to voters what they need to know before heading to the polls. With copies of flyers and door hangers on hand, the ACLU of Idaho knocks on doors, greets some Nampa neighbors, Hi there. Howdy. and asks them about voting. Okay. You're thinking of voting on Tuesday? Oh, yeah. That's great. So. And it's not just about going to the polls, but what to expect with new rules and redistricting in place for the May 15th primary elections. Because it is a closed primary, there's, it's very crucial information on here about how that will work and access to voting is very, very important. I was wondering about that. Yeah. What do you think about that? The, the fact that, yeah. You know, they, they, this way they can put their own people in there. Mm hmm yeah. To the right person. The door hangers say let people vote and explains the new requirements of personal identification and being affiliated with a party. We're actually dropping out some information regarding the primary coming up on Tuesday. We met one member who cannot vote because she's only 17, but still wants others to get their voices heard. Because I can't vote, I want to be able to do something to contribute to uh, the democratic process. And this just seems like a really good way to um, help make an impact by getting the word out about voting. ACLU members say as nonpartisans, they're not there to influence voters, but to inspire them to use their rights. Again, the primary elections take place this Tuesday, May 15th. For more information on voting rights requirements and polling locations, you can visit the ACLU Idaho website. In the studio, Jennifer Ah, Fox 9 News at 9.